Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The Clean Energy Council released a new report which has found that more rooftop solar power was installed in Australia this year than for the entire previous decade. Over 100,000 solar power systems were installed between January and October 2010, in comparison to just over 81,000 between 2000 and 2009. This equates to 301 megawatts of capacity on the rooftops of homes throughout the nation. Clean Energy Council CEO Matthew Warren attributes this growth to the increased affordability of solar systems. The report also states that 8.67% of Australia's electricity was generated by renewable energy sources in the last year. New South Wales Greens MP John Kay has called the Keneally government's sell-off of the state's power assets a reckless power privatisation. Mr. Kay believes the assets have been sold at a much lower price than if the government had waited until there was more certainty about carbon prices and future coal costs. He said that the privatization may mean steeper electricity bills as new owners seek to generate more profit. According to the reports, Integral Energy and Country Energy have been sold to Origin for $3.25 billion, while Energy Australia has been acquired by True Energy. The Queensland government has announced that the zero-gen clean coal project will not be going ahead as planned. Although the new power station was planned to be opened in 2015, research has shown that it will not be viable on a commercial scale. Clean coal technologies face technical and safety challenges and require more energy to work. To date, no large-scale carbon capture and storage projects have been produced anywhere in the world. U.S. project FutureGen isn't expected to become a reality before 2040. California's latest project, a 150-megawatt concentrated solar power station, has been given the go-ahead. Plans for the new solar farm are part of the state's aim of hitting its 33% renewable energy target by 2020. Over 5,000 jobs will result from the solar farm. Each year will produce about 450,000 megawatts of emissions-free electricity, which is enough to power around 68,000 homes. Energy Matters wishes you a happy holiday. Thank you for watching during 2010, and we'll be back in 2011 with renewable energy news from Australia and around the world.